Hi friends, welcome to Mule 4 series of learning videos. I am Shiva Tankamani, a technical architect in MuleSoft. Today I am going to demonstrate uh, how Mule 4 message structure looks like. While developing an API, uh, we should be able to move and handle the data in and out of uh, MuleSoft flow as well as different transports provided by MuleSoft. So it provides a, a flexible but yet powerful feature to handle the data and variables. Here is how the message structure looks like. So Mule message structure is based on the event. So the event could be uh, anything. It could be a, a HTTP event trigger or file creation or a, a JMS message or the, the record that's inserted into the database. All these are uh, creating an event. So based on the event, uh, we will be creating event processors and within which we will be able to use the data uh, with a category of attributes, payload and variables. Now let's go back to mule flow and investigate how this uh, looks like. So uh, I have created a mule flow with a HTTP listener and the logger and the application is running in the debug mode. Uh, with a port uh, 8081. So I'm going to run this uh, flow uh, with a simple payload uh, with a resource path of test. So let me trigger this. So by triggering this HTTP uh, listener, it creates an event with this uh, payload and the other data which we are going to see. Now that the application is running in the debugger mode, we will be able to take a deeper look into the message structure. So uh, I have uh, enabled the breakpoint and the logger. So uh, event is triggered and all the data are available for us to view visually uh, while uh, mule flow is ready to go with the logger component. So as we have seen, uh, there are three components that are available. One is uh, attribute, another one is payload, other one is bars. So attributes is basically a collection uh, that has uh, details coming from the header. Um, you can see some of the uh, values like uh, query parameters, query string, relative path, um, HTTP version, etc. And you can see here the payload that we have uh, passed from the uh, SOAP UI tool. Here is a payload and wars. So uh, wars is a collection uh, which is used by MuleSoft to store flow variables. At present, there is no flow variables. Let's complete that and let's introduce uh, some flow variables here. Now I have introduced uh, two uh, flow variables uh, called A and B with the values 1 and 2. And uh, uh, flow is stopped in the breakpoint at the logger component. And we can go back to mule debugger window and then see the values. So here are the three um, components, attributes, payload and wars. Wars is now available with a couple of components. Thanks for watching this video and uh, I'll come back with another interesting topic soon. Please don't forget to provide your suggestions in the comment section below and uh, see you soon. Bye.